Are you in need of a fall book, of one that just draws you into the season, that helps you just feel the atmosphere of fall? Well, I have a huge list to share with you today. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. I'm a mom to four. I love to homeschool. I love to read good books and I share both of these on this channel. And so in today's video, I am going to be sharing all the books that just remind me of fall. And so it's actually a book tag that's put on by Karen Evans. I've recently found her channel. She's just a sweetheart. She kind of has eclectic tastes, a lot of thrillers, historical fiction. I really enjoy her channel. She does a lot of book reviews. So go check her out if you are interested. I will link all her stuff below. And so she created this tag. It's called the Autumn Book Tag. It's very simple. It's basically to share 13 of your most favorite autumn inspired or Halloween inspired books. And so I have a good stack here. Some of them I've read, actually most of them I've read and some of them I want to read, and they are on my list for like September, October. So let's hop in. The first one I haven't read yet is called Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I feel like this is just the prototypical autumn, Halloween kind of read. It's a gothic novel. It's about a woman who falls in love and marries this man quickly, and then he owns like this big estate, and they go back to the estate. He had previously been married and been widowed, fairly recently, I think, before marrying this new wife. The whole staff of the estate loved the old wife and her name, the old wife's name was Rebecca. And I think there's kind of some hauntings. I'm not sure if it's like really a ghost story, but I know it's kind of intense and has that kind of creepy manner feeling to it. So this is definitely on my list for this fall. The next book I wanna talk about that I loved was called The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. It's a very popular book. A lot of people have read it. Why I included it in this list is because it has amazing atmosphere. It's about a circus that happens at night. So there's kind of some unique, creepy, unusual things going on there. But also just the, her writing style is so good. It just draws you in and you feel like you're at the circus. You feel like you're smelling the hay. You're smelling the cinnamon popcorn. And those things just kind of really scream fall to me. So. I recommend The Night Circus. It's a very enjoyable read. Okay, the next set of books that has been on my list forever because I loved the movie Practical Magic is these books by Alice Hoffman. I'll put a picture here. The Rules of Magic just recently came out, but the other two have been out for a while. The book called Practical Magic follows kind of the movie, or the movie follows the book about this set of sisters who grew up kind of with their funny ants in Massachusetts, I think, and they were rumored to be witches, but really the problem was is the family was carrying this curse that all the women would be unlucky in love. And then the other two sound great. They're both actually prequels. The newest one that came out, The Rules of Magic, I think is the one that's the furthest back that tells kind of the original story of the original curse. And then the next one is called Magic Lessons, and it has to do more with the ants as they were kids. And so the whole thing sounds so good, which is Halloween. It just very fitting for this time of year. So the next book I have on my list for Autumn Reads is The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. So this book was great. So it had to do with a woman who was kind of down on her luck, receives a letter in the mail that says she has just inherited a bunch of money or an estate or something like that and she has to come to the estate to settle everything out. So she knows that this is not her grandmother but she is so desperate. I think there's like bounty hunters after her that she just decides she's going to go and she's going to lie. And so she goes and then <laughs> this book is great. It definitely has like a gothic feel to it as well. It has a creepy kind of mansion, kind of run down, all these old dusty rooms. And it even has like a housekeeper who's like crotchety and mean. It is a great read for this time of year. Next book, which I have talked a lot about on this channel so far and have yet to pick up, but I have actually been holding it to this season. Is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. So I read Lock Every Door in June or something like that and I just loved it and so I picked this one up. It's basically a ghost story of this old mansion that this woman, it was her childhood home, then her family fled from the home because there was an incident of some sort. She comes back as an adult and she's in the fixer-upper business and so she comes back and she's like I'm gonna fix it up and I'm gonna live here and it's not gonna be a big deal because I don't believe in ghosts. So my guess is it's scary. So I'm looking forward to actually finally reading that. The next book I have on my list, I'm actually not sure if this is very fall inspired, but the cover made me feel that way. So this is a Kristen Hanna book. It's The Great Alone. 
and this is a book about a Vietnam vet. He came back to his wife and daughter and he was changed, more angry, definitely had PTSD, and then he just uproots his family and moves them to Alaska in kind of like a rugged area and it just sounds a little crazy. And in Kristen Hanna style, I think there's some very tough storylines potential abuse storylines. I haven't actually read this, but I'm hoping that it ends well, that this man is able to kind of work through some of that stuff, that that's hard coming from war back into civilian life. So I don't know if it's really fall, but it makes me think of fall and I want to read it in the fall. So it's on my list. So the next set of books might date me a little bit, but I'm going to share them anyway, because they were some of my favorite books from like middle school, high school, so I read these books and you can even tell they're dated just by the covers. They're called The Secret Circle by L.J. Smith. So this has to do with a group of teenagers in Salem, Massachusetts or something like that. And they all grew up on the same road and there's just some funny things about them. And they form this like coven, this witch's coven. And there is some kind of big bad guy that had come like 20 years ago set up this whole coven and now they're just trying to defeat him or something like that it has been a while since i've read them but i remember loving them and actually as a kid i reread them which i usually didn't do at that age so i probably should reread them but if you want a nice little definitely ya sort of series from like 20 years ago this is on my list also of great fall reads next book on my list i read this year sometime these Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. I really enjoyed it. So this is a book about a rich girl. At the end of the 1800s, her father supposedly commits suicide, but she does not believe it. And so she goes out to investigate, even though it brings her into places where she's never been, she shouldn't be, and exposes her to different parts of the city and lifestyles of people in, I think it's New York City, that she just was not even aware of. So it was just really good. And it has that like mystery graveyard, dig up bodies sort of idea. So it's good for this time of year. The next books I want to talk about is another trilogy. I like trilogies, but it's a truly devious trilogy by Maureen Johnson. So there's this school for the just really gifted that this rich entrepreneur built up in like the middle of nowhere, Vermont. And so what happened at that time in the thirties, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and supposedly murdered and the case never was solved. And then in present day, there's this student who thinks she can solve it. That's kind of what gets her into the school. And then the ball rolls from there through each of the books. And I just found it really entertaining. It's a YA mystery detective sort of series. And so you kind of go into it with a little bit of those expectations, but otherwise it is very good. It's, it's a fun mystery thriller, whodunit sort of set of books. And then a classic book that I haven't read in years, but I remember loving is Witches by Roald Dahl. And I watched the movie also as a kid and I feel like the movie's kind of ingrained in my head. So it's about this boy whose grandmother tells him there are such a thing as real witches. These witches just hate children. And so for some reason they're like at this hotel or something like that. And then there's this convention of witches and he like, ends up kind of sneaking in and then getting caught and it's just creepy and Roald Dahl just has a way with his storylines that are so unique and interesting but I hope to read this aloud to my kids at some point I think it might be a little too scary right now at least for me it's a nostalgic sort of fall book another book that came to mind about autumn is the Lord of the Rings and I know this is a beast of a book and my copy is terrible but this book has just such an autumn feel to it. And maybe it's just those specific parts that have to do with like the woods, like was it Mirkwood with the elves or the Tom guy. Oh, I forgot his last name. Anyway, there's just so many parts of this book that just feel like you're in like a refreshing wooded area during the fall. It feels like a book that you should read cozy and with hot cocoa and things like that as well. So. Lord of the Rings. Another one on my list is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. I really want to read this book. I've been talking about this book on my channel for a while, but it sounds so interesting. So it's about a woman who's an author 
and she is near the end of her life. She's always been asked her story, like her childhood story by all these reporters for her entire career, and she's made a habit of telling different stories. So everybody knows all these stories have been lies, but she comes to the end of her career, and then I believe she hires a writer to come, and she's gonna share her story with this woman. I'm just intrigued to be like, what is her actual story? And then the last book is like a cozy mystery type book, and that is Still Life by Louise Penny. And this is the first book in the whole Armand Gamache series. He's like an inspector in Quebec, and I feel like this setting screams fall. Like there's just been a murder during hunting season, and it's a small town, and there's like all of this atmosphere of small town fall celebration type stuff. And it's just a perfect book to kind of settle in with a cup of tea, a blanket, whatever you want during this fall season. It just sounds like a perfect book. And I really want to pick up the second one. So I'll be looking into that myself. So I realize that has been a fair hodgepodge of book recommendations, but hopefully of those 13, there's some of them that you might like, or you haven't heard of, or you haven't really thought of to read during this time of year, but they're all wonderful books for just the spirit of fall, just the essence of the season and so I hope you enjoy them and I would love to hear from you guys do you have any books that just scream fall to you if so put those below in the description box I would love to hear them I'd love to look them up and so yeah that is what I have for this video I hope you enjoyed it please consider liking the video that helps me out and subscribing to the channel if you like what you see otherwise I will catch you in the next book video all right have a wonderful day okay